private businesses had to pay people. Okay, so right now the government tells the province minimum wage is, what's minimum wage? 15, 15 flat? Okay, $15. Okay, so who does that impact? Uh, everyone, right? The arguments that uh, Walter Williams, I think his name is, I think his name is Walter Williams. You know, he makes this argument that when <clears throat> there's a mandatory minimum wage, it means that there's zero cost of discriminating. And in your case, it would be likely, why are we talking at the back? Discriminating due to age, right? Do you think McDonald's really wants to hire like a 15 year old? Yes. They might, right? But do you think McDonald's would prefer like a 19 year old? Yes. Yeah. That's older. No. More okay. mature. And particularly if they have to pay you both the same and pay you both $15 an hour, where do you think most businesses would make their choice? Older or younger person? Right? If more experienced or less experienced? More. More experienced, right? More records. Now, what if you could go to McDonald's and say, hey, you can hire me for $8 an hour. Do you think they'd be more inclined to hire you? Yes. Yeah. Because it's, it's easier on them. What is the benefit to you if you're working for $8 an hour? You got a job. You got a job. Maybe you get more hours. You get $8 every hour. Right? And you get this tremendously wonderful thing called experience. Because if you don't have a job, you don't know what work is like, you're, you're, you're a risk. Like some of you show up late to class all the time. I've never done that. Some of you, if this is you, just take this out. If you show up late, take your out, okay? Uh, but some of you, some of you are on time, right? So for cheap labor, you know, the business can figure out like, hey, is this person a qualified employee? And then you get experience and then you can, if you're a really good employee and the, you know, there's no minimum wage laws, you can say, hey, can you pay me $10 an hour? I, I've proven that I'm a very good, efficient employee. I'm very reliable. And if they don't, then maybe you find another workplace that incentivizes more workers by paying more, right? And it doesn't always work out like this, but if the government comes in and says, well, everyone has to get paid $15, the argument that Walter William was making is that, you know, they can discriminate against people without any consequence. So they can say no to all the 15, 14 year olds that apply for a job and hire the 16, 17, 18 year olds and they don't pay a price. But if your labor prices were different, then they would have to pay for that cost of discriminating against you. Do you have a question? Yes, you may. What, what's your question? Dude, you're literally wearing like a full sweater. Just like ventilate. Just ventilate. He's asleep again. Wake him up. Just relax. Hey, also, also, this is important. This is particularly important for grade 12, what you learned then, which all of you should be going to, whether or not you're in dash one or dash two. Uh, Milton Friedman is against uh, policies of financial redistribution. So that basically means like, like some of you have pretty decent grades here, right? Like let's say somebody in here has like an 82%. Okay, somebody in here has, let's just say for example, this is not true, so don't like start pointing the finger. Let's say somebody in here has like 20%, 15%, right? But the person with 20 or 15%, you can come in, just walk around with the camera. Okay, the person with 20%, you know, maybe they, maybe they just have a little bit of a rougher life. So you with the 80%, let's take 10 of your percentage, because like you're probably privileged, right? You don't deserve that. We'll take 10 of your percent. Now you're sitting at 70, we'll give that 20% person a 30%, just so everyone can be a little bit better. That's being nice. What are your thoughts on that? No, it's stupid. No, stupid, you're shaking your head? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, grade 10. Why do you think you deserve your high marks? Because we work. Oh, that's a, or maybe you should. I'll be working for it. <laughs> <laughs> you work for it. It's hard for But, okay, so so let's, let hold on. Hey, so let's present this scenario. The person who worked for it has two parents who both encourage them to study. And regardless of if they do good or do poorly, their parents still encourage them and love them, let's say. Okay, okay that's, that's the person with 80% who worked for it. 
person with 20%, well, when they go home, there's no structure in their house. Maybe there's no food, right? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe just things aren't so good in the household. Or two parents there, none of them care what the kid does. Did you, you know, this is the argument, right? Like, did you really work for your 80% or did you have, did you have privileges given to you that you didn't pick, right? You didn't pick your parents, right? If you have two parents who are really like, hey, no, no, work your heart, work your hardest. How, how do you feel about that then? You take from that 80% person and you give 10% to the 20% person. Now, now, oh, you're convinced. No. My brain no. Broke. My brain broke. No. Why not? Come on, they had a hard life. Everyone has, everyone has problems. No, guys, you have to be kind. Everyone has problems? What's your mark? What's your mark? Gotta suck it up. You just gotta suck it up. Pull yourself up from your bootstraps. I don't know my mark right now. I was gonna say, you're on your own first. Like, we could get into such an interesting discussion. Hold on, you said no, like, pretty, like, they're like, no. How come? It's my 80%. Uh okay, okay. So 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 even you think that like no, this is unfair. You shouldn't you shouldn't take that ten percent from the eight. Yeah, no. You think no as well? Does anyone legitimately think yes? I'm just curious. Why would you think yes? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, yeah, like you're taking. You do, here, if you had eighty percent. No yes? Okay, but the, this person with twenty percent, like they have such a hard life. Yeah, you got paid extra. I understand you're extra generous. Are you gonna be happy? I'll give them a percent. Yeah, I'll exactly. give them. I'll give them. Hold on, that was one of our block C kids who had this. Well, why can't you just give them the mark? Why do you gotta cut off our mark? Whoa, 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 I'm not part of this equation. Why not? Why not? That should be a big thing. Oh, hold on. The the the. Why do we get? They should be motivated. But like again, again, again. Like this person, they go home, it's chaos at their house. Yes. They, and they had no choice over this. But you go home, you, your house is like, it's like, uh, you know, it's like paradise, right? But you just don't study. <laughs> no, probably not. Even if there's yeah, chaos in the house. Just study at school. But don't thing? you think they'd have a harder time doing it? No, they go to school for eight hours. Like, it's like the other person. Everyone, <laughs> yes. everyone tells. We're not, we're not Hold on, let's hear it back here. Sometimes life is hard for other people. They just have to work a that's to see it through, my boy. <laughs> Comfort situations for people, therefore. No, no, no. There's a Russian proverb: the same, the same water that hardens the egg softens the potato. Right? Those tough situations, they hurt some people. They can't recover from it. Do, do you get this? The same water that boils an egg softens a potato. Right? Why would you think it hardens? Oh, it softens. Yeah, like pota raw potatoes are pretty hard, but like boiled potatoes. Mmm, yummy, delicious, <laughs> with salt, you look like you mash, those potatoes. look, 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 they gotta throw them both up, that's how good that's they are, Ma mashed potatoes, <laughs> both hands up, right? Mac is doing a test, this angel is talking about potatoes. No, no, Mac is dialed in right now. She is, look at her, she's shaking her head yes. Okay. Um, that's so fascinating, none of you kids, what about your empathy, have some empathy, damn it. Oh, we do. Like, just help, just Come help on. them a little more. We're help give them more way. I mean, I help you study, but I help but like you were snoozing in class. What if, what if I let you sleep and you peed your pants there? That'd be so embarrassing. Come on, kid, have a little empathy, have a little heart. No, I. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah. What if that participation medal? Was the little bit of push they needed to actually work hard and then and then well, achieve their dreams? Okay, then maybe I'm like, right. Then that ten percent was then all they needed to be like, hey, I'm close enough to a fifty. Then I work. I'll work hard. What if no, I don't, like, you don't think so? Wait. Why don't you tell your exam? Okay, a number. Like, go one, two, three. Okay, hey, let's make sure we're listening. At school, there's support from like I encounter the teachers and the friends. They can ask for help from them. Ah. So glad you said that. This person comes from a community where they don't trust these systems. Oh my god. 
I wouldn't. I do. Psychology. It's like it's like oh, chess. All these, all these teachers care about is the money. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> you even Don't say it so loud. Don't say it so loud. Okay. So you said words are empathy. What if they expect you to do it again when they? Uh, uh. Then you should consider no. how tough they're. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if I, since I already have that high mark, what if I gave them just my mark and then you gave me back the mark? Yeah, so I, now they I have an eight. But, but my young oh, son, marks are finite. There's only so many marks. No, no, wait, you're, you're the teacher. <laughs> you say that like I'm God, man, relax. You gotta earn those marks. I can't just give them out. But, but I, I have a code of conduct, I'm ethical. Back. I have to get my mark back. Why, why, are, you, why are you giving me those? Exactly. Oh my bad, my bad. That was my, that was my double speak. He's gaslighting. <laughs> yeah. A homeless individual, right? Okay, not okay. Give Wonderful. Me. We found a hopeless individual. Okay. Homeless. Yeah. Homeless. Okay, homeless. You're not gonna give money to the one who's spending it on drugs and not trying to do anything about them being homeless, but still give money to the person that's gonna try to do something with that money. You know. So it's like, if they're not trying to get a high mark. Like, why would you do it, you know? But if they're like, if they're like trying to get a high mark, you're like, I'm not gonna give you a high mark, but I'm gonna help you try to get this high mark, you know? I, I like, I like that. That's a very nuanced answer. I like it. I would say you. And, and he raises a valid point, right? There, there's a really good uh, quote from Greek philosophy. It's. Um, I'm paraphrasing the gist of it, but it goes that before you seek to help someone, make sure they want to be cured. Does that make sense? That's the right. one. 